I've worked with companies such as Universal Pictures, uh, Blumhouse Productions, MGM, just to name a few. Um, I got to work on some really cool projects recently, including a little art piece for M. Night Shyamalan's new movie, Old. Uh, that was just beyond cool. And then I got to work on Halloween 2018 a couple of years ago as well. I'm trying to establish myself as kind of the freelance artist, just pop around each studio and work a little bit for each. It's been going really well so far. Well, your work is absolutely incredible. So what is it about horror films that inspires you? You like scary movies? Uh-huh. What's your favorite scary movie? Uh, I don't know. You have to have a favorite. What comes to mind? It's an amazing form of escapism, I think, too, from like the, the everyday world, especially what we've been going through recently. I mean, this past couple, yeah, oof, it's been rough. So I feel like now more than ever, horror is making this huge resurgence because everybody wants to escape. I happen to personally love them because uh, when I was young, my dad would take me to Hollywood video or Blockbuster video, and we would go on Friday night. And there was always this mystique, this intrigue about the horror aisle and the horror section. And it was somewhere that I was always afraid to go because I would just, the, the covers alone would always give me some sort of nightmare. Exactly what, what you're saying reminds me of when we're young and we looked at Goosebumps books. Image would sell you alone on wanting to read that specific one, right? <laughs> totally, totally. When I first started, I didn't have a look at all the my, to my artwork. I don't know what it really was. Um, I wasn't doing a lot of digital illustration. I wasn't doing a lot of digital painting. So everything was photography based. But with my work now, I feel like I've sort of developed a style that is definitely an offshoot of one of my, I mean, one of my favorite artists is Drew Struzan, who did like the Indiana Jones posters and the, some of the earlier Star Wars posters, the illustrated ones, huge fan of like his work. So I wanted to be able to channel that, that kind of 80s illustrated style without, of course, being a direct imitator. You mentioned like sometimes it's it's difficult to really create something or, you know, having writer's block or whatever the case may be. How do you get through that and push through and make sure that you can stay in a creative mindset? So I have a new technique, which I actually believe is, I didn't come up with it, Hunter S. Thompson did. But basically it's where I will put on a single song or a single album, and I will just let it repeat and repeat. Until I come up with something. So like, it sounds insane, but recently I was doing something for Malignant as well, the James Wan film. And that one, I was like, what am I supposed to do? Like, I just, sometimes you don't know. And you, you have an idea, you don't know how to execute it. You don't know if it's gonna look good. So basically what I'll do, um, open up a blank canvas, I'll pick one song. And recently uh, for that project, it was the theme uh, from Psycho, the opening credits theme. And I just let it play on repeat, repeat, repeat for, I mean, five, six, seven hours. But I came up with what I wanted to come up with. So it actually worked. So what's next for you? What can we expect? Maybe I'm gonna take my work in a little bit of a different direction. Um, try and open my mind a little more to just different styles and different uh, different types of horror movies, perhaps, too. Um, I definitely like the whole 80s look, but maybe it'll develop into something new. Um, more studio projects, which is super exciting. Um, maybe starting to do like some short films, perhaps. Also wanting to go to more um, horror-themed events, like in LA and, and and, and Florida, like the Halloween Horror Nights uh, Universal puts on every year. I've never been, but hey, Universal, I'd love to go. So ultimately it's like, I'd love to be able to do something like that and be able to do more, not necessarily a YouTube channel, but take my content into a video oriented uh, direction.